Good morning and welcome to our worship on this, the sixth Sunday after Easter. Let us pray. Risen Christ by the lakeside, you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to fire of your love. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May God, of love and power, forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 14. Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word and my father will love them. And we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you for a while, whilst I am still with you. But the Advocate of the Holy Spirit from the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything, I remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. And I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with, with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise. Let us be on our way. It can be very powerful and a great affirmation for someone to be on our side, especially when it seems that everyone else is against you. To have God's advocate, the Holy Spirit, reminding us all that God can do and all that we can do is surely reassuring. The difficulty that we have is that this is a step of faith, not just in God, but in ourselves. Jesus tells his disciples that Jesus, through God's love for us, will build his home in us. We could become the house of God's love. We become the doorway of faith, the window of hope, the garden of opportunity. However you wrap it up, whatever words work for you, the reality is that we become the living embodiment of God's love in our world, in this world, in all the shared spaces. Shared with all those that we see each day. Some people we see once in our lifetime and others we see each and every day. To all these people we can bring hope, faith, joy, peace and love. 
It is the advocate that can help us to have the courage, the strength and ability to do what needs to be done. There is not a person we see or meet that we cannot help or that needs help. I'm sure that when we look in a mirror, we see ourselves before us. And ultimately, it is with ourselves that we can be most honest about our needs, our feelings, and what can help us. Remembering that God has set up shop in our hearts, minds and souls. It is God who reflects to others if we accept his love in our lives. It will be God that reflects to us if we have accepted that love. When we look in the mirror too. Let us allow God's love to enter our lives. Accepting too the Holy Spirit as the Advocate given to us from God through Jesus to be with us each day, wherever we go. As we live our lives, that love which we have received will flow out to others. A gift that is in its abundance is deliberately given without any reservation so that it flows through us, indeed to others around. Let us pray. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to love humankind. Show us how to share our riches with those who have not. Give us grace to love our enemies and to give every woman and man their due. Help us to pray for our community and teach us how to serve within it. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to work for peace in our world. Make us peacemakers in our homes and in our communities. Help us to pray with understanding for the divisions in our world. May the example of the Prince of Peace lead all who control the destinies of the nations to work urgently for peace. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to be fully members of your body, the church. We pray for all who today will worship you throughout the world, and we ask you to bless each and every one of them. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to comfort those who mourn. We pray for those who have died, remembering that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to love our neighbours, how to listen and show us acceptance, how to be with them in times of trouble. We pray especially for those we know who are in need, lonely, the sick, the distraught, those who are mourning. Whatever they lack, we pray that you will comfort and bless them and uphold them and all who minister to them. Loving God, teach us, your children, how to love ourselves so that our lives may fulfil that potential which you have given us and we may indeed be your faithful followers and servants until our lives end. And so we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Spirit of truth leads you into all truth. Give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and strengthen you to proclaim the word and works of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen.